Hi students, today let me take you to the 5th chapter of NCRT textbook of class 12. It deals with principles of inheritance and variation. This inheritance and variation is actually coming under the branch of biology called genetics. So genetics is a branch of biology which deals with two aspects that is inheritance and variation. As you can see genetics, the term genetics was coined by William Bateson in the year 1905. So this genetics basically deals with what? Two things that is inheritance and variation. In order to take you towards this topic, just think about the concepts like, you know, cat reproduces its own babies, kittens, which looks exactly like cat. Isn't it? From the seeds of a mango tree, only a mango tree comes out. Similarly, you can see if you take any kind of offsprings, they look like their parents. A cat is not reproducing a dog, isn't it? Have you wondered what is the basis behind all these things? The basic reason of all these things are answered by the branch of biology called genetics. Hope you might have understood the importance of learning this kind, this topic in your class 12 textbook. Let me explain. As I've told you, genetics deals with two aspects, inheritance and variation. You inherit characters from your parents. But do you look exactly like your parents? No. There is variation. Isn't it? So inheritance means what? Characters are passed on from parents to progeny. That process of passing on characters from parents to progeny is called as inheritance. So, this inheritance forms the basis of heredity. The term heredity is coming over here. To make it more simple, have you heard about hereditary properties? The properties which you get from your parents, isn't it? Your parents might have got from their parents, so it is passed on in, 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 in a family. That is called as hereditary property. Similarly, there are characters that are passed on in a family. A study of all those things you call it as inheritance. Inherited characters you call them as. Another term is variation. Even when these characters are inherited, that is it is passed on from parent to progeny, there may occur some variations. That means some changes man can happen. So that is the degree by which Progeny differ from their parent. You can see here progeny. Progeny means offspring, young ones. So the degree by which progeny differ from their parent is called variation. So we have dealt with here two things. That is inheritance and variation. In the following videos, we will learn more on this aspect. We will learn about how this concept of genetics evolved. We will learn about Mendelian genetics, we will learn about genetic disorders, we will also learn about more and more applications of this genetics in the present scenario. Thank you for now.